right. Ready? Let's go, Lloyd. Carl, you can do it. Right? Let's begin. <laughs> <laughs> How's that? <laughs> well done. That was fantastic, Karg. Really great. Eh? What kind of person is so happy to see their father lose? But you certainly took me on by surprise. By surprise, excuse me. You've improved so much and almost without me noticing. Haha. <laughs> You don't think that you're just getting slower? You should be retiring as commander of the defense course soon, shouldn't you? As soon as you're ready to protect this country, I'll be glad to hand it over. That's why I've been teaching you to handle a sword all these years. Haha. <laughs> That's what you tell him, but you started practicing even harder ever since you knew you would be challenging Karg. As if you were trying to make sure you wouldn't lose. <coughs> Paulette, you must address him as Lord Card. It doesn't matter that you've been friends since you were both young. I'm always telling you not to be too familiar. Don't worry about it. The monarchy was abolished ages ago, and Paulette's a year older than me anyway. It doesn't matter whether the monarchy exists or not. Our responsibility to protect the royal family of Nadelia doesn't change. Paulette, I hope you've been practicing like I've told you. Father, of course I've been practicing. You're not as skilled as Lord Karg, even though it is your duty to protect them. That won't do. Okay, okay. Commander, could I have a minute? Something's been troubling me. Hmm? What's up, Banjo? I wonder what's happened. Let's go and find out. Alright, so this is my first attempt at a solo Let's Play. And unlike the one I did with my, uh, friend, as you've already seen, I will be reading the dialogue. I may make I may make mistakes here and there, but but I'm just I'm just human, so um any comments are welcome. <laughs> ah, Lord Karg. I was just telling Commander Lloyd, a short while ago I saw a suspicious old man on Scrappy Plateau. Suspicious? Yes. He wasn't from this country. He was muttering to himself and seemed to be wandering around looking for something. He was pretty creepy so I didn't speak to him, but it's been worrying me. I can't imagine there's anything around there he could be looking for. I'll go and take a look. One old man's not something to get the whole defense corps out for. Hmm. Very well. We'll check it. Uh, we'll check it out. Thank you. It's not much, but maybe this money will help you prepare a card. Acquire 200 gold. 
Paulette, you go too. But don't get in Lord Karg's way. Okay. Right, I'll be getting back then. Okay, I'll come on I'll come along with you then, Lord Karg. Hey, don't call me that. I feel so awkward when you when you're that formal. Hey! Haha. <laughs> huh. But I really don't mind, you know. I'll call you Lord Karg if you like. You know you don't need to. Just because I'm the son of the old royal family, the people of Ubel all treat me with great care and respect. It's not that I don't appreciate it, but I'd like to, at least you to treat me normally. starting a completely new game. No new game plus or anything, so I won't be getting my usual setup of becoming quite strong at the beginning, so I'll likely be collecting every piece of gold that I can find. And the same goes for spirit stones. Huh. Mother's not here. The wind, new era. Did you just hear someone talking? Yes, but I couldn't make out what it was saying. Maybe it was Lady Nafia. Oh well, maybe Mother's in her room. Come on, I'll wait here. There's no way I can go inside Lady Nafia's bedroom. Very well. No, not here either. Huh? What's that shining? of union listen carefully to my voice that was strange what was that a spirit huh yes they weren't the stories mother used to tell me divine ruler with an evil heart appeared, and he used the power of science to try to rule the world. However, many brave people stood up against this ruler. Following the power of the spirits, they defeated the evil ruler, and they sealed his body inside an ark.
Do you know what an orc is? It's like a box that holds mysterious power. Wow. So the bad guys always lose, right? Well, the divine ruler came back to life thousands of years later to take his revenge for being in prison for so long. Really? Then what happened? Coming back to life and escaping from the Ark, the divine ruler had taken a very strange form, one never seen before on this earth. And then he tried to destroy the world. However, there appeared a great hero and a holy mother who carried on the will of all those brave souls of the past. And they stood up to fight this evil divine ruler. It was a long and fierce battle, but in the end, they defeated the divine ruler and sealed him in the ark once more. However, as a result of all this, the world was badly scarred and the spirits disappeared from the face of the earth. But something else appeared in their place. Beings called Deimos. Humans and Deimos loathed each other, and this led to fierce confrontation. In time, the world was divided in two, with humans living in one half, and Deimos in the other. And eventually, it became strictly forbidden for humans and Deimos to associate with one another. Funny how I remembered it that remembered that. But I wonder, was that really a spirit just now? Why would it suddenly appear to me? Did you find Lady Nothia? No, she must have gone out. Sometimes she goes off on her own sometimes. Sometimes she goes off on her own somewhere. So that voice just now was just her imagination. No, that was... That was the spirit. What? The spirit of the wind. A spirit, like the ones in the folk tales and legends? Yeah. Are you alright, Karg? You sure you didn't see it in a dream? There haven't been any spirits around for years and years. Yeah. And in any case, the only, they only used to show themselves to chosen people. Really? I guess it must have just been an illusion. But... Come on then. If Lady Nafia isn't around, then we should hurry to scrap a plateau. Yes, let's go. Talk to Banjo here, we can get a pretty good item for Karg. Are you preparing to go to Scrappy Plateau? Yes. Once you leave town, chances are you'll encounter monsters. Make sure you're, pre you're prepared. Oh, wait, hold on. I remember it wrong. We have to talk to Butch first and then go back to Banjo. Lord Karg, Banjo is supposed to open a refinery today, but he hasn't shown up yet. Well, I guess he's taking a sweet old time, as usual. If you happen to see Banjo, could you tell him to come here right away? Alright. Well, this country has been prospering lately, so I can understand why he wants to see all the shops in town. by 10 and his counter by 10. 
the description is actually, actually, it's actually wrong, so, so, um, never fully rely on that, as we, as I was, was mentioned in our last, le in the last Let's Play, go by what the stats increase do, and make sure you do it on an empty slot, because you can, because for example here, it's decreased, it shows that it decreases stuff, but that's, that's just because you're removing the Hawkeyes, so, Knuckle Guard, yep, we're gonna equip that. And then this is something that card automatically comes with. It raises your hit rate and your mental. Paulette comes with nothing, but they both come with leather armbands, which, excuse me, raise defense. Here we have a list of their skills. As you fight more and win more battles, or er, each time you attack an enemy, you gain a certain you gain a certain amount of SP, which of course increases as, as the story goes on and the enemies become a the enemies you encounter are a, are of a higher level. So for example, right now Karg only comes with Fang Breaker Blade and one last chance with Fanebreaker ba Blade being already learned. And in order to get one last chance, you need to acquire 100 SP. And then you can purchase it. So Fanebreaker Blade, it, dam it, it damages the enemy and has a chance of decreasing their attack power. And then one last chance increases Karn's attack power, but in exchange for lowering, lowering his defense. So, it can be a good move, but I wouldn't suggest it for, for later points in the game. Early on, it's useful, but once you get to the, for, uh, the, the harder chapters, like say, um, probably around chapter 3, I wouldn't, starting with chapter 3, I probably wouldn't use it. <laughs> and then first aid, or I mean, and then Paulette, she, she comes to first aid, which is already learned. It restores HP, I think about 33%, I'm not sure. And then Sling Knife isn't learned yet, but it can be purchased at a lower price than Karg's One Last Chance, which is 60. Basically, it throws the knife at the enemy and damages them. So this is good for beginning stuff, because Paulette comes with an, already comes with a healing or a healing, a healing uh, skill. And then you have items. Card comes with a healing herb and a revival, me revival medicine. And Paulette comes with two healing herbs and a bomb. Also to note is that each character's spirit stone, maximum spirit stone count, is different. For example, Card's is 70 and Paulette's is 80. Probably because she's more towards... towards the court. <laughs> so in the very top area you can you can see their status. Ish. You can see their up the very top it says their level and their name. So for example, Karg's level three, Paulette's level two. Then you got your spirit stone count, your item count, your health your health points or hit points, however you prefer to say it, your experience, total your total experience and then how much how much experience you need for your next level. Then you've got your class, and then how many S how much S how much SP you need to your next class. And then you've got all your basic things: ATT attack, DEF defense, MNT mental. That only boosts, yeah, that boosts your your uh, your special skills or magic. The power of your special skills or magic. You got SPD, which is speed. The higher it is, the faster you go. And in some cases, if you don't, in some cases, it can be high enough to where you can get two turns in before the enemy goes. Then you've got HIT, which is hit. Um, in other words, accuracy. AVO, avoid. 
the higher it is, the more chances you have of, of avoiding the enemy attack. Do note though that only physical attacks can be avoided. Special special skills or magic attacks cannot be avoided. CNT is your counter rate. The higher it is, the more likely you'll counter an enemy attack. Again, it has to be physical. Special skills or magics cannot be countered. GRD, which is guard, and which which is kind of works like which is similar to avoid, but you still take damage. You as I. From what I've seen, it cuts the, the cuts the enemy's attack in half. For example, if an if an enemy's attack were going to deal, say, 30 damage, and card guarded the attack, it would only deal 15. <laughs> and the higher it is, the the higher it is, the more chances of him guarding are, of him guarding. Well, the higher it is, the more chance he'll guard. Um, CRI critical. The higher it is, the more more chances you have to, of landing a critical attack. Then you've got MOV, which is movement. That cannot be increased manually. That uh, can only be increased by items. And then TRO is throw. The higher it is, the longer the longer distance you can throw items. And then also, not all of these stats can. Not all of these stats increase when you level up. And those are um, counter, guard, critical, movement, and, th and uh, yeah. The ones that do increase as you level up are attack, defense, mental, speed, hit, avoid, and throw. Then you've also got your elemental defense. Currently, they're, by default, they're all zero. Unless you have the secret characters, they come with some, or one of them. One of them does, but I won't say who at the moment. I will be getting them though, and I will be recording each round, just so you know. So in, in overall terms of um, role in the party, Karg Karg is our attacker. He's not he's not a tank, but he can take more hits. Paulette, on the other hand, is more for support. Uh, right now, there's only a, a one a, di a difference of one in their defense, but it, as they level and if they st and they stay relatively close to their levels, Paulette ends up having more defense, especially because of the missable items she can get for her as the story progresses. <laughs> but she's still relatively fast. However, her throw is pretty low and doesn't raise that much. Now for avoid, it's lower than cards. However, don't be deceived by that because as she grows, it actually increases quite a lot. And some, um, the avoid usually only increases by one, but there are, but for Paulette, for the first, I don't know how many levels, but like I guess, I think between level two and ten, each level up, each level up in that area, she'll sometimes get plus two to avoid. And that's why I said that she'll end up being a good avoider. <laughs> Cargan and Paulette are both turn out to be good avoiders. Let's see, Paulette has critical eight too. So she'll. Perform um, there's also a tension mechanic, but that'll be explained during the battle later. However, I'm, I'm going to wait until we get all of our party characters to fully explain it. Now, here are the shops. Hello, Lord Park. Nice to see you again. Are you here for weapon parts today, or perhaps an accessory? Currently, we, could, we can't really afford anything since I did a, a normal game and not a new game plus. You know, for the challenge. But these are currently things available in the shop of Ubel. Stone coating slightly increases your attack. Amethyst coating strength strengthens your weapon slightly more than stone coating. Thorn of Revenge raises your counter attack rate. Aiming device raises your hit. Gunpowder adds fire element, kind of obvious. And 
that's it. And then there are there are accessories. Currently, we can only in this shop only two accessories are sold: leather armband and stone holder. We already know what leather armbands do, but stone holders stone holders let you carry 15 more spirit stones. So, in the if you if you get three, that's 15 plus 15 plus 15, equaling you a total of 45. Later on in the game, however, you can eventually upgrade them to stone bags. We each, which, which each, which each let you carry up to 30 stones, 30 spirit stones more. And if you equip three, that's 90 more, 90 more spirit stones total. And then you can, of, of course, sell items. Of course, sell items, but we won't do that. Thank you, and come again. And then we have. The item, the item shop. Welcome, Lord Karg. If you're here for an item or a spare stones, we have plenty. You can buy items. Currently, there in this shop, there it. We have healing herbs, gird herbs, revival medicines, anti-toxic nuts, mints, soap, painful needles, green memory grass, nerve stimulants, energy snacks, energy colognes, stones, bombs. And that's it. And then you can buy spirit stones to refill your uh, party spirit stones, which I think I will get some. But I'll get 50, you know, just to help me a bit. I probably won't be burning a lot of spirit stones in the beginning, but as the game goes on, naturally, er, not always, but sometimes special skills are what you need or magic. But physical attacks usually end up doing more most of the time. But th sometimes uh, special skills do, depending on how you have your character build up. Because you can you can get accessories that will boost their mental, sometimes surpassing their 